These are USB keys from Ubico. Okay, so Ubico have sent over their, well, I guess you call it a security key or USB. I'm not entirely sure which model it is they've sent me, but uh, it's one of them. <laughs> there we have it inside. It's very neatly packaged in this. I'm not turning it over because my address is on the other side. But this is all you get in the packaging because it's all very simple. We have get started with your Ubico key. We have a USB key and then a small uh, key ring key as well. So this uh, locks down your computer um, and makes it secure. And it offers a strong authentication. It uses a, a one-time password and then a universal second factor U2F. And then there's a, a touch button in here I believe. So um, I'll, I'll put notes in below for uh, everything that you need to know about this because I think uh, whenever it comes to security there's nothing worse than rambling through a bunch of uh, anagrams and that sort of thing or abbreviations so we have a security seal on the back here to show whether or not it's been tampered with that we can just pull open and then we have the USB there and if I take it out there you can see the USB itself it has a little hole at the top for you to attach it onto a keyring or lanyard and then around this side you have a QR code which I'm not going to feature because I don't know whether or not it's, it's hackable or what have you uh, to access your computer, but that's that's how small it gets. It's tiny, very easily lost, I guess. And then the same thing here, we have the uh, security seal and then a much larger USB stick. We have a hole here for attaching it to a lanyard. And then it says Y, and round on this side we have the same QR code down at the bottom. Um, and then powered by Ubico, written there. So. It's very simple. Little USBs that you plug into your computer and it gives you full access. So they, they don't use a client. Uh, they, they can identify a smart keyboard, that sort of thing, like those, uh, those PIDs that you used to get, the, like credit cards that you'd slide into the side of a computer to unlock it. It's a step up from those. There's no batteries inside it or anything. You don't, you're not going to run out of power in them. And there's no moving power parts, so they should just work. So this is the YubiKey 4 Nano, and this is the Yubi Neo, and it can work in conjunction with certain password managers. I know LastPass it, uh, has some affiliation with them as well. So hopefully it would uh, cut down on the amount of passwords needing to be uh, input into your computer in order for you to get access. But uh, we're going to go and plug them into the computer and see how easy they are to work. They are very handy. And I like the idea of having them around. Okay, so as simple as it is, we plug the key into the USB connector. Then you connect it to one of the many services that's available, like Google or your password manager, and touch the front of it and authenticates that you are you. Then, of course, the YubiKey 4 Nano functions in much the same way. You push it in and the little copper top to it is also the fingerprint sensor. Its size does, of course, mean that it's quite difficult or tricky to maneuver out of a USB. However, that little keyring hole at the top does mean that you can put something in there to make it easier to pull out. Not many things because it's very small and takes only the finest of keyring connectors. And then, of course, there is the uprising of the USB Type-C, for which this is not exactly going to work. There are, of course, dongles, which will be a must-have if you intend to use one of these. However, carrying around one of these does defeat the purpose of it being small and portable. Yubico do, of course, offer a USB Type-C key, so plan ahead whilst purchasing. The YubiKey is compatible with a great amount of third parties, be it software or hardware, and you can set up multiple profiles for one key, which is very handy. Personally, I'm using this for my password manager and for logging in and out of my Windows 10 PCs, and it's proven to be very successful. So let me know if you have any questions. Hit that subscribe button. Take care, and thanks for watching.